So you might be in a weird situation where your airdrop transfer speeds are just very, very slow. Now, what does this mean? Well, maybe you're trying to go through and transfer files from one iPhone to the other, but your file speed, like your transfer speed, is just super slow. The very first thing you're going to have to understand is that if you're transferring massive files, like you're transferring big videos or big files or whatever the case is, it doesn't really matter what you do. It's probably going to take a long amount of time regardless. Like if you're transferring hundreds and hundreds of megabytes or gigabytes and gigabytes of videos or files or whatever, it's going to take a long time. So the main thing you can do there is keep your iPhones close to each other and then try to keep them, you know, try to make sure they don't time out or anything. Another thing you can try doing, if it's like small files and they're just taking a long time, you may want to go ahead and reinitiate that transfer. So basically cancel out of that airdrop that you were originally in. Then what you're going to want to do is click on that share button down here, click on airdrop, and then try airdropping the file once more. If you're able to go through and airdrop the file again, that might end up fixing the problem too. I've been in this situation so many times where I try to go through and airdrop a file and it takes a long time even though it's like a couple files. I just cancel it and I resend the file and that ends up working. Now, if that doesn't end up working, another thing you can try doing is restarting your iPhone. So hold down the buttons that you normally would to restart your iPhone, restart it, and then try going through and re you know, actually try resending that file again. That could very well end up fixing the problem. If that doesn't work, you may need to go ahead and actually update your iPhone. So try going through into your iPhone settings, click on general, click on software update, and try going through and updating your iPhone. Although it may not 100% work most of the time, a lot of the updates may end up having some things that may have fixed airdrop in the first place. So by doing that, that might end up fixing the problem for you as well. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.